here's a six foot rod right here. Uh -huh. Okay? That's a six foot rod. This is the 15 foot rod. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> My adventure sister. First time you guys are meeting her. This is Sam Senko. <laughs> Sam Senko. Look at her new. Look at her new hiking boots. How do they feel? Great. This is the worst. Yeah. This is the worst of it. Step here, across here. Oh my God, she is so dramatic. You're so dramatic. Sit down. Okay, I, gotta, I, gotta, I cannot I believe you are saying you can't do this. <laughs> I really can't believe I, it. I, I, me too. Because Dad keeps telling her you won't be able to do it. Sounds like, Mom, I can't believe you, you're saying you can't do this. I literally can't. So beautiful here. Mom, you good? Okay, this part might be difficult, but imagine these are stairs, okay? These are nature's steps. Take some steps on, the, Mom, <laughs> on Mother Earth. Look, I'm letting Buddha take the wheel right now. I don't even know what's going to happen. Wow, look at you. You you did it. <laughs> Daniel, how you doing? Daniel, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Don't put yourself down like that, okay? Really? I have. Brendan. Oh my goodness! Those that is are a like real. Like my that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is the Power Plus. This is a 15-foot ginormous rod that I found in in Bass Pro, and it comes in three pieces. Look at that. So I have never used a rod quite this long before, and I'm kind of wondering if a lot what a, what a longer rod is really like good for. Um, my predictions is it's going to be able to cast really far. Um, it'll be able, definitely be able to handle a big fish. Um, and this is the spot to do it because there are 20 and 30 pound striped bass running in here. And I think I've got a really good shot to catch something big on this big rod. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Let's do it. <laughs> this is how long the rod is. I can touch the camera from here, look. So for my reel, I'm using the Shimano Bait Runner 4,500 size. I could go bigger, but uh, I think this'll do. 30 pound braid on here. And you guys know that I love these bait runners because you can set it so that it'll be a fish alarm. If anything takes it, You'll know it'll take it because it makes that clicking sound. This thing is so long. Yeah, I got a long rod, so. That's the biggest rod I've ever seen. That's just how I roll. Go with a long rod. Last time I used a tiny little dock demon. This time I'm here with a, the biggest rod I've ever used. <laughs> you guys can probably guess what kind of bait I'm gonna use. I was about to say, what's the bait of the day? Well, it's gonna be a mixture of salted squid and blood worms. So we've discovered that putting a bit of salted squid and a bit of blood worm together works pretty darn well for stripers because blood worms are very expensive. These will save you some money and add some bait on your hook, add some scent, and it works pretty well together. I end up using half the amount of blood worms by using some of the squid as well. So now it is now Part of the regulation, you must use circle hooks if you're targeting this fish. Um, just because it saves so many fish. Um, circle hooks are designed so that they don't gut hook a fish. Um, most of the time, there'll be hooks right on the side of the lip. Uh, no need to set the hook, nothing like that. Um, I suggest you try some circle hooks. All right, blood worm on, and a tip of squid. Got 
So this will stay on even better now because this salted squid is really tough. And if something takes all the blood worm off, which I don't think it will, it'll still have the squid on it. That worked. These boots are awesome too. Can you eat it? Oh, my dad's on. Yeah! Big one. Now it's on it. Only a small, dinky one. Don't be ungrateful. You just spoiled. I can't tell how big it is because there's rod. Oh, no, it's on the surface. Squid is still on here, the bloodworm is still on here. Perfect. Good combination. It does cast a mile. That does cast very far. It's a pretty heavy rod too. Is it easy to cast or hard to cast? At first it was hard to cast because um, you need a lot of space to cast the, such a long rod. Um, but this rod is able to cast it really, really far. Like, you can see a channel out there. That channel drops off from like three feet to 20 feet. That's, that's the spot you wanna hit. So with this rod, I'm able to hit that spot. We're gonna see if, it, if it'll, it'll perform better than a smaller rod uh, or, or a normal sized rod. I think this rod will be really good at the beach for like big fish. You see that? Yeah, I heard it. Already. So how did that, that first fish feel, that little one? Feel I couldn't like feel anything? it. It was so small on the big rod, it, it was hard to even feel any kind of sensation. So did you like that or not like that? Not liked it. But I, I'm curious to see for a big fish. Go James. James is on one. We're not, this I'm on one. Baby one on now. I can feel the head shakes. He's not pulling me, it's a schoolie, it's a small one. Getting a little bit bigger. Not really. <laughs> Pretty much the same size. They messing with you? Yeah, oh. So what is this move? This is my lazy move. <laughs> the squat. <laughs> is it oh, working? It's, pulling. it's still pulling. Look, look at that. It's still moving. <laughs> Don't hit me. Nice. 
the size of fish to the size of your rod is pretty, <laughs> pretty striking. <laughs> Both it. on? Oh yeah, nice. You might want to help me get down there. Okay. Or set up the camera, good. whatever you want to do. Okay. That's nice. Nice one, dude. This one might be a little bigger now. You helping him out? All right. Here, Aaron, film. Gone. How you doing, Danny? Oh yes, yeah. right way down there. Oh man, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yeah. Big, big, way bigger than this. Oh <laughs> man. Yep. Cool. Nice. Just throw it down there. Want to let him go, big guy? He doesn't know how to do that. Grab him, buddy. Teach him. No, grab him. No, you got it. Come on, Danny. Come on. Grab it. Grab it hard. Grab it hard. All right, you got to hold it hard so hard. that it doesn't flop out. Both hands if you can. You got it. There you go. There, there you go. go. Both hands. Now, come on, let's walk. Hold him down so he don't fall. Oh. Hold it. Hold its lip right here. Now you're going to want to move it back and forth until it kicks away. When it kicks away, that means it's got enough energy. There we go. Wow. That was a big awesome. one, huh? <laughs> hey, thanks for letting us see that, man. Yes. Let me see your hand. Did it hurt your thumb? Huh? No. Did it hurt your thumb when you grabbed it? No. Kind of. Yeah, kind of? Yeah. That, that yeah. <laughs> what is this? That's a tidal bass right there. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice one, what dude. The... Check it out. I haven't held a dude, bass for so long. Thick, huh? Dude, that is a healthy, Whoa, fat bass. Came. Yeah, man. I heard that thing come up. Awesome. That's a two and a half, three. Get out. How did you come here and still three. manage to catch a largemouth bass? I have no idea. <laughs> like I thought I was on a rock again, to be honest. Move. I'm gonna build Oh! Whoa! 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 I don't know. I think so. It's no trophy. That's oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's on my line. Net? Oh, that's a nice fish. What is it? Whoa! <laughs> Decent. Pulled ya. <laughs> that was a fun fish. Not bad, I just casted that out. That was really far out. You cast it like nice. a minute ago. You, got, you, did, you casted yeah. it less than a minute ago. I literally just casted it out. Oh. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. All right, yeah, this big rod is definitely fun, but it's it's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, really? Yeah, look, it's just so long. It's hard to cast. It's hard to <laughs> reel in. The immediate well, pros I see of this rod is it can cast super far. I've got three ounces of lead on here, and man, that thing went probably 150, 200 yards out easy. The, now the downside is like, it's just so bulky. This is pro, this is not, I don't think this is really meant for this kind of, oh, I already got a bite. What? Oh. Yeah. They're out there, they're out there. <laughs> Danny, come here. Huh? Reel it in. Oh, oh I see it. Is that, no, that's yours, Dad. Bring it up, I'm gonna land it for you, okay? I know. Right, stop, 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 stop reeling. That's safe. There you go. Whoa. Good job. This thing is so big. Sam was clapping for you. That was me. Hello. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but you gotta open the spool first. Hold it with your finger. Hey man. 
come over here. <laughs> she accidentally cast like literally like to the right, like exactly to the right. <laughs> Oh, is that wrong? Yeah, that's a very, very <laughs> like common beginner mistake. Hold it up here. There you go. Let's see what happens. Let's leave it there. You might need to go further, but there, a lot of times, a lot of big fish just hang out right here. Take a slow. Take a slow. Never let the line go flat. Damn, I'm going up Is it pulling you? She's, she's too excited. <laughs> You're right. Oh, he got off. No. Yeah. Yeah. Reel it in. Okay, let's let him go, let's let him go. Oh. Why are you so many fishing that rod? Oh. Definitely on. It's probably small. How do you just get rid of that piece of wood for you kill yourself? Nice job, Dad. Daniel. I appreciate your help. <laughs> Thank you.